So hello and welcome everybody. I am Denise Armenio. I am here for today's Thursday Live to talk about everything genius. Um, I have Claire McIntyre here to assist with me. And um, today, Claire and I thought that we would take questions um, from everybody who's there, genius-related questions. Um, and if I can help you or Claire could help you in any way, or if there's something specific you like me to work on with the genius, you can tell me. I I've, I've, think I've pretty much gone through most of the topics within the genius, um, but sometimes there's always something that um, you want me to review or go over. So if anybody, you guys just want to put in the chat and let me bring up my chat so I can see it. Um, any questions that you might have? Um, if you, if the group doesn't really have um, too many questions, I can certainly do a group scan, but I'd like to see what's out there. So fire away, guys, if you have questions. Um, Talking to people to sign up. Uh, you mean for sign up for what? The trial? No, I'm thinking like the you know just to show people like kind of to display how you or someone could go about um, showing people the affiliate or the ambassador program. Um, or maybe that's a separate issue we could yeah, do. I that's separate. Let's just, yeah. Okay. We can, we can do that another time. Okay. Or even just where it is in the back referral. Cause I've noticed a lot of people don't know that just well, where that, we, that we can show. I, and if anybody has any other questions, I could bring my genius up now. Um, hold on a second. Let me just get the share screen. Oops. Okay, so let's just do, I'm just gonna set up Thursday live and we'll use today's date, which is August, whoops, 10th. And I, I put it female because majority rules here. Sorry, David. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm just going to select begin. Um, let's just bypass the voice and um, the picture for today. If we do do a scan, it, will, it still has our credentials in. So we will still be able to run the scan. And I'll just add the energetic affirmation. All energies are transmuted into the frequency of love. And so it is. And okay, so great question, Karen. Um, so if you have someone who is interested in um, getting a free trial, you can send them a link through the back office of your genius by um, clicking on the, the three horizontal bars, or sometimes I like to call it a hamburger on the top right corner. And you simply scroll down to where it says referral link and voila. There it is. And you could either send it by text by clicking there, um, or you could hit share your referral link and it copies it to your clipboard and then you could um, paste it anywhere you like. But so that's where that is really simple, really easy, um, easy to get to. So that is uh, that piece. And anybody else have any other questions? 
Everybody's so quiet today. Denise, this is Pam Kapoor. Pam? Uh, I have a question about uh, the um, quanta capsule. So if, if I have to, if somebody wants trial capsule, can I do it at my end or do I have to refer it through the, um, from, from the website? Um, you don't have a referral link to the quanta capsule in the genius. So if I'm running somebody and they say, oh yeah, they, uh, they want a trial quanta capsule, they'll have to go to the site and then get it or can I do it at my end? You can do it. Um, Claire, will you be able to put that link in um, for the quanta capsule, just the generic link to the quanta capsule or? Um... Yeah, I'm looking at um, mine and you are able to issue a free trial download to people. From my, you know, as uh, I can go on my, uh, in my genius and do it, right? Yes. And then, and then if I already have, you know, a number of those that I purchased earlier, I can, after the trial, I can, I can send them. Chase. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So sell them from my. Yes. That would go, you would go into your quantum membership. Okay. All right. Yeah. So if you go in and you have um, your purchase and members right. and right. Whoops. Show me this again. Yeah. If you go back and go into my members and then it comes up under add a member. Yeah. I wasn't going to pull that up just because it's going to show my members, which yeah. I don't, um, just yeah, I understand. Yeah, but, but I was guy. having I was having problem in in first like uh, from from my this thing uh, genius to help him help them with the uh, getting the fifteen day trial one. That is what I was having actually problems with. Yeah, we can just get you that link. We'll put it in here. You have that link handy, Claire. Not for the one that's um, outside of my. For the for the Quanta capsule, the seven day capsule. No, <laughs> I will uh, find it, and I've also got the affiliate link, so I'll pop that up there as well. So we'll get that to you, Pam. Okay, thank you so much, Pam. You're welcome. Okay, so the next question: Why does the aura not change after doing some sessions, and other times, no change for a second aura? Huh. I, I thought that that was fixed. I know it changes it update when, when, oh, I bet I know why. Whenever you get a percent rectification, the aura will, you can go in and begin a new analysis on the aura. But perhaps if you, let's say, put in a timed amount, like one minute, and it didn't calculate a percent rectification, it, because it didn't calculate the percent rectification, it's not going to give you um, the prompt to begin a new analysis on the the aura. Have you noticed it in a diff at different times, Karen? Because I haven't seen that happen. So um, you would the best way to work on that is if you're working on it to like screenshot it or show it if possible if it keeps happening, but. Claire, have you had issues with that? I haven't had any issues with the aura not um, changing. No, no, I haven't. Um, and like you said, it's it's not until you sort of do the full um, time timer. Right, like if I were to begin <laughs> And I'll go to the aura. We we can hit the analysis. Dennis, you have to um, uh, run the uh, analysis again because many times what people do is they are not 
uh, running the analysis after that they're thinking if they've run and they go back to Aura, Aura it'll automatically change. Wait one second because it was loud, I can't hear you. So, okay, so we just ran the initial Aura, right? And we can look at what's showing there. So your, so if I go back out and now let's just say I ran a quick balance for 30 seconds or any amount of time, I could stop it right now at seven seconds and I go into the aura, it's gonna ask me to begin analysis again. Um, so okay, so this is. That aura. Now, if I went back out and let's say I added, um, let's just say I add spiritual protection library. There are 13 items there. I do, I, you can also hit play here. So again, I don't usually use it here, but I mean, you could, if I stopped it. It's again telling me to begin analysis. So Karen, I'm not sure. Maybe you just need to like um, log out and maybe uninstall. So now this is our aura now. And let's see, we can also go, if we go to um, Neuro Remedy, if I begin it and else it's here. So let's say I want to um, just run this clearing statement for 10 seconds. And even though it's, I can now go to the aura and it's still giving me begin. Now. So the only time when it's working correctly and this is what I'm finding, it's not going to give you an opportunity to begin analysis again is if you are, um, so let's say now I go to the main hold tray, I select one minute, I hit begin analysis. Okay, so now let's just say I select all and play for one minute. But I decide for whatever reason, I don't, I'm going to stop it before it's a minute. So I'll go to 30 seconds just to. So now I stop it, but it didn't readjust the percent rectification. And if I go back to Aura, it doesn't allow, it, it's not giving me a chance to begin analysis. So um, Karen, I don't think I was much help, but I just think that um, you may just be having a system glitch there, like log out and back in. Um, uh, let's just, there's a question about the PEMF wearable, the, an overview on it. This is the wearable. It's super easy to use. 
Um, you just have to, it's Bluetooth. So you just have to pair it like you would pair any other device um, with Bluetooth. And then you would, I don't want to turn it on because it's going to connect to my Bluetooth and then you won't, well, you don't hear the frequencies anyway, but you won't hear the frequencies, but you would turn it on. And then when you run the scan and the frequencies, instead of hearing the sound, uh, the frequencies will go through the PEMF. And I usually wear it on my left inside wrist, but you could put it on your ankle. You could put it on your foot. You could slide the uh, strap off and you could place it someplace where you may have pain. You can put it around um, your water. Just make sure that the water level is high enough to cover it and you can run the frequencies. I would always use glass if you were gonna do this, like don't use plastic or metal. I just wouldn't recommend that. Um, so that is how you would use that. It's pretty straightforward and easy. Um, and also um, adjusting the volume on your device will increase the intensity of the PEMF. So that is important. You may, if you have the volume low, you'll see like less of the red lights coming through and the higher you put the volume up, it will get stronger. So if you want the intensity to be stronger, just turn the volume up on that. Um, and this is an awesome, I love mine. I use it all the time. And it's so convenient because you could just walk around um, wearing it and know that you're getting some healing energy. Okay, so David's asking, when creating a master branch, do the libraries added also contain all of their individual items? Yes, supplements library only shows as one entry, not all 37. I, what supplements master branch? Is that one you made? Yes, it's added, added my own. <clears throat> Hello? You sure? Let me just go. I'll go into master, uh, master branch of mine. Hold on. So you go into libraries. And now I'm going to select master branch. Um, so if it's one that I've created, let's just say um, all the parts of me, these are all the different panels. And then if you click on the panel, it, it breaks it down into the items. Are you just sure you weren't clicking all the way through? So it, it goes your master branch title, right? Which is for me, all the parts of me. You click on it and then it gives you all the panels that are in that master branch. And then if you click on each of those panels, it tells you the items that are in each one. Oh, that's what I wasn't doing. <laughs> okay. So, um, and then obviously if it's shared. Um, you can't, you can't add a shared one, can you? Um, well, actually I don't, I, Oh, I don't have any shared in that. I would have to go shared and then look at, um, let's just call it this one. So it, it's the same thing, but I can't, I can't adjust it or, or change it. It is, you know, it is what it is. You know, I try, I try to add a master branch, but it won't do it. I'm oh, sorry, a shared um library but it, it won't seem to add it so you are creating a master branch and you want yeah. to put a shared library in you can do it you're probably just not um flipping between so here um oh master branch so if we were to create so i'm just gonna say test for david Okay, that's the name of it. So now I would put in um, 
the libraries that I want to add to it. So let's just, I'm just going to take these top. Um, I'm just going to take these two libraries. So now if I go down to. Uh, how do you add a shared one? Hold on. <laughs> Test for David. I have accelerated uh, foodless proteins I created and acne energetic disturbance was one that was shared with me. It should all be in that list. Well, the list doesn't show all of the libraries. Um, it doesn't show the shared ones. It only shows the ones that I've actually put in. You, you've gone through it. It it doesn't. This should be like an a total list of all your created and shared libraries. Yeah, but it only shows the uh, created ones. This is on Android. If that makes any difference. I don't know. Um, did you try clicking on shared and then trying to, to add? Maybe, maybe it's slightly different. I don't know. No, I'll, I'll try that. I, I would try that. If not, um, you'll have to put in a bug report because that could be a bug. Right. Um, so that's how you do it. So it, it should, rep, you know, it should populate the correct way if it you know go back and try it again and if it doesn't we'll try to um, troubleshoot that for you uh barbara is asking the two-week trial is through the app store or google play uh, you're talking about the quanta capsule barbara or are you talking about the yeah I was putting oh. that in there for the other question, because to get the two week trial, that's where you get it. Oh, gotcha. OK. Um, can you, Pam, can I not ask you another question? Sure. OK, so in the uh, shared libraries, I have um, libraries that I'm not using anymore or uh, the libraries that, you know, they were given to me or they're um, and I want to delete it and I can't delete them. Why is it yeah, that? We don't have that functionality at this point. We have mentioned it, um, but it's not, I don't, I don't remember the reasoning behind why it's not there. We can't, we can't delete it. It's, um, okay. sorry. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. You can only delete ones that you created. I know, but, but, uh, then I can I can do whatever I want with them, but not with the ones that because I've got so many libraries that I really don't use at all, and and they're just kind of taking all that space. I there. mean, if you have a lot, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I I don't know. I I can try to find out if there's something that you could do. I I don't want to speak and say something that might not well, i understand i understand because there's some libraries that are that i got that are not that good even to so yeah, yeah it would it would yeah. be nice to archive them wouldn't it and just so that they don't come up in the regular yeah, or, or or make or unsee them like make them not visible but it would still be it would still be in the database in the cloud so that's not really, I mean, the only time it becomes an issue is when you sync, because the more libraries you have, the longer it takes to sync. So I know that is a little bit of a pain, but um, yeah, I mean, maybe we can mention, it's a good point, Claire, maybe there's something that we could do to, that we could hide it. And so you don't see it. Um, I don't know. I don't, I forget the reasoning why we couldn't, they couldn't make it a delete, but we could ask the question again. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? Anything? Um, let's see. Is there anything? Um, in the reports, um, we worked on the reports, I think, the other day with um, looking at the over the 
um, quick overview report, which is kind of nice. I like that one. Um, these get a little bit, I don't know if it's really helpful, um, how helpful it is, but you can email or print like the, um, the numerical value that was in each of those for like the body. Um, so you could just go down to each, if someone wanted a listing of it, you can send it out that way. Um, it is nice to have a record of what the percent rectification was on some of the items that you worked with. So sometimes you might find that helpful. Um, these were, um, well, they weren't quick zap, but they were, they were from the main hole tray. But again, you could print or email from there. Um, extra modules. Again, dynamic mirroring. Um, does anybody have interest in the dynamic mirroring? Um, basically, when you work with the dynamic mirroring, you need to have, let's just go back out. You need to have some items in the quick zap. So let's just add, um, let's just add sacred geometry in there. And um, maybe we want to add digestion and today's stress into the main hold tray. So now you have items in the quick zap and the main hold tray. If you go back to extra modules and go into dynamic mirroring, um, it will run the items in the quick zap and in the main hole tray um, and you can cycle through um, and you could just type in um, what emotions uh, would you put? So I don't know, let's just say grief and we wanna run that, we'll just Um, can I just point out here that with the dynamic mirroring, mm -hmm. if you add the timer from the quick zap to the main hole tray, that is what you can set your timer to. So you had one minute at the top and one minute at the bottom. So if you set your timer divisible by two, that's how many loops it's going to do. Oh, wait, hold on. So you're saying just to just the main hole tray to say two minutes. So that's. Okay. So, so it'll run the quick zap for one and the other one for. Yeah. So combination of three minutes, then you set your timer for increments of three, like three, six, nine. And that's how many times it will loop through. So oh, gotcha. Thank you. Loop. So again, we can put this on grief. Although we're not going to listen to this for all those minutes right now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a bad example. Um, and it's not even going to give me. It, it, it still gives you the percent rectification if I put this on zero. It will give you the percentages um, like it normally does, just in a different format. So Claire, is this like the addition of the two that the the timer on that then? The the one that we have in the quick quick zap and the main hole tray. So if it's one minute there and two minutes here, so the timer, actual timer on that, it'll say three minutes. Is that what you're saying? It's you, the timer that you would set then in the DMP section okay. would yeah. be visible by three. You know, you could have two at the top and two at the bottom, then you would make it divisible by four. 
by four. Okay, now I so understand. You just add the two together. Okay, okay, but just to confuse everybody, it still works when I have it on zero, though. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why, because it's not doing a complete loop. If you think about it, if the timer, because you can't have. Well, I mean, you could, but it just wouldn't go through a complete loop if it was less than three minutes. Yeah. So, or it would, well, right, it wouldn't finish it. If you did four minutes, it would go. Um, so I don't use this function to be quite honest, very often. No, so I mean, I just run the, I run the quick zap if I need something in the quick zap and I run the main hold tray if I need it in the main hold tray. Um, that's not helping me. So, um, synergistics, I don't usually use, um, we could put something on here, um, say black seed oil. And we can see how that resonates for the group. Oh, well. From at a spiritual aspect, the group should be using black seed oil. Um, not so much for the energy fields. It's pretty good for the body because it's almost completing that circle. And for the mind, it's not so bad either. So overall, it's good. It just really won't have um, too much effect for the energy field. I think anything over 50% is likely to be beneficial under 50%, not so. Right. Well, most of these are over 50%, except for the energy fields. That one would be less than it. So again, this is not something that I tip typically use all the time. But if you're wondering about, you know, if you have a certain supplement or essential oil or vitamin or something, if you want to see what aspect, how it may be beneficial in, you know, in what um, category it's beneficial you know you may want to to use that um response assessment um okay so let's just put black seed oil in again so now we're asking how black seed oil again is going to be right claire effective with um how it's going to affect yeah, response assessment is tricky to set up as well. You have to so that it will only look at the last panel that you saw because yours is at the moment it's checking everything against system overview. But right. if you if you were to go into um organs or body systems and did black seed oil go back to system overview, look at that, then come back to response assessment. Okay, let's do that. That's the page that it will view. So let's see. Um, well, let's just look. So if I went into today's stress, right? Yeah, that would be quite good because you've got the fungus and bacteria and things in there that it so would. So let's see. So now we go into extra modules, response assessment. So now it's changed. So let's just put here black seed oil and begin That's analysis. Select all top right. Oh. So for fungus, it would have a good effect because ideally I would like to see the values between like 400 and 600, right? Because anything 200 and below and 600 and above, 
were are included in our reds and blues now. Um, so that's a 43% difference. Degeneration, it goes again from a, a red to, you know, a, a range, a, a good, a healthy range. Sensitivities, it's pretty much a wash. It's not going to do anything for any sensitivities I have. Nutritionally, again, um, it's bringing it down to the 400 range. Infection, interestingly, it brings it. Um, up. I wouldn't expect to see that, but um, okay. Immune. Again, I wouldn't expect to see this either. It goes from 588 to 159. So um, it, it's causing more stress on the immune system and infection. That's how I'm reading this. Um, although on the immune, it would cause like more chronic stress if, if you're reading the number that way, um, lymphatic, again, it's not going to have, um, it's going to be less beneficial to your lymphatics now the same with cardiovascular, same with virus, emotional, not too hot blood sugar is they're all in that, you know, okay range in there. Adrenals. Um, we know. Yeah, it went up. Um, liver, pretty much the same. Pathogens went down. Bacteria, pretty close. Brain, it went up. Connective tissue went down. Um, environmental went down kidneys went down acid went up so that would it would be good for that hormonal pretty much unchanged inflammation it went up and heavy metal toxicity it went up so in this case um it didn't help with heavy metal toxicity because even though it's a low number it it still went up it's not it's actually not a blue anymore it would be well no, it's still a blue, but <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, that, um, you know, I guess you have to see what you really want to work on, right? You're never going to find something that's good for, for every category. So, but at least you're getting an idea on, you know, what potentially it might be helping you with. Um, whoops. So biomarkers, I don't use biomarkers. Do you, I, I'm not even going to go there because <laughs> neuro remedy. I think everybody's clear on neuro remedies, accessories. So guys, if you are using, I believe, unless it's just for the big coil, um, definitely for the big PEMF, you would want to bring the tone delivery to the left channel. If you want stereo or um, like if you're listening to it, you want to keep it on stereo where you have the left and right channel. Oh yeah. And you would want the PEMF wearable on stereo. So the left channel is really only if you have the big um, PEMF coil. So um, that probably would not apply to most of you. Um, you can turn on your 3D animation um, over here by turning it on or turning it off. Um, and then frequency, shape, and form. I think everybody is clear on, right? Settings. You can um, sync your database through here, right inside. Um, this is where you could assign all your libraries to be automatically assigned to everybody so that you don't have to add them each time. And if you decided you wanted to update the email that you're using on the Genius, you can do that here. Bug reporting, that's pretty self-explanatory. Live support, guided imagery. Um, this is something that you would pay for there are some free ones in here um 
I have not used this. You can you can listen to them once only for free, and then you have to pay. And if you look, the top half um, is with spoken word, I think, and then the bottom half is without spoken word. So, yeah. yeah. So and that's not something that I've used. So, no. um, and. Custom playlists we went over two weeks ago, I yeah. believe. And um, you can log out from here if you need to, but that pretty much covers everything in the back office. And does anybody have questions on anything else that may be in there? We've, I think we've touched base on the entangled insights and the functional zone. Um, also everybody just, um, I think you all know this, but these little like magnifying glasses to the right of the number just gives a brief description of what you're looking at. That's not gonna be in any of the li shared libraries or created libraries, but it is there for anything that is in the system um, overview any of those functions. What about quickly going over the search bar in the libraries? Oh yeah, we can do that. And we can also, um, if you're in the system overview page, the little Chevron brings down, um, it's just another way of looking at all this data. It, again, this isn't something that I really use, but you might like it. You can click this and it gives you just a, a fancy representation of greens versus yellows versus reds versus blues. So yay group where, well, <laughs> it doesn't tell you though what if it's between that 400 and 600 range. So, but if you look here down a little further, um, you can get a little bit more information, but, and I mean, it's so hard to read that down there that that's not really so useful to me, but maybe it would be to you. Um, but there are just all different types of graphs and what you're looking at. So this graph would just be of the stuff that's on the body. And then, you know, you can go to the different categories. Um, I get custom isn't working. Uh, this is if you were looking at the mind. So again, um, that is that. Now, if you go into the custom libraries, I have to just run the begin analysis here first. That's why the custom library didn't come up. Oh time. yeah, you're right. I have so many libraries that there's no way it would be very functional. Yeah. Okay, so you you click on the same like up arrow in the center right beneath the quick zap and it gives you a bunch of different options here. So first this little like graduation cap is for the master branches. So when I click that, I'm just viewing the master branches. So if I wanted to search for something, I don't know, um, I can just put in, let's just say neuro. So I put in neuro and my, all my master branches that are named neuro cohesion are coming up. And um, so anything that you would want to search within just your master branch is what you would be looking at here. If you click on library, this is just all your individual library panels and what you're searching for. And if you click all, um, I believe it has, um, yeah, this oh. is just, it's going to search 
in every line item and everything, the letters that you put in. So let's just say I put in um, grief. Let's just put that in. So every, every line item that has the word grief in it would show up. Um, so maybe that would be helpful if you want to deal with, you know, go through your entire database of libraries for every line item that has to do with grief and run that. If that's what you're experiencing, that could be, you know, really helpful for you. Um, I, um, I think all combines the master branches with the libraries and then it's only when you yeah, I thought that too, but I tried to put in the name of my master branch. And um, Muscles Database Master Branch. There. I'm not sure if those are my master branch titles. So put in Neuro again, see what comes up there. It's taking neuro from within the line. Right. So if you it's, just come out of the search bar. Yeah. So that page that you're looking at now is sort of like the combination of your master branch and your libraries. Right. But then if you tap on the eyeglass, that, that, brings up your line items for everything that's behind there. I thought you, we were looking for a master branch title when we were clicking all. So, yeah. So, so when I click the all, when it's on all, it's looking at all the, the, the line items. So I normally always keep it on library right, okay. and then you can sort. So I have all my libraries here. If I wanted to look at them in alphabetical order, I can just hit A to Z. If I wanted to look at it Z to A, again, I can look at it that way. Or if I wanted to look at it from zero to 100, you can sort it the four different ways. And again, you could do that with your master branch. And I and you can even do that. I've never sorted it this way, to be quite honest, but um, so you're saying Claire to click on that. Oh, but then I lose the sorting ability. So um, yeah, the eyeglass on all just brings up all the line items and it'd be ideal to have a plus 50 at the top and at the bottom but it's it's not there yet right but i don't i'm not seeing where you, i've i don't really use it this way but so this is all the line items for every single yeah. library right so then you're saying here have the well but that would be the same as in general overview yeah. right um so i guess i mean here if you hit red <laughs> like 14,000 <laughs> items. So I would never do that. <laughs> um, yeah, it would just be too, too much. So Denise, that, yep. I, I did that for macular degeneration so that I could find all of the libraries that had it in it. And how did that work? It worked great because I found like I found that in libraries I didn't know to look at. That's awesome. So you just put in um, macular degeneration in it? I did the all in the search and then I, in the search bar, macular degeneration. I don't know how much I have. Oh, here's some of mine. Yep. Whoops. I'm spelling it wrong, DGen. Ugh. A T. Oh, D Gen. A T I N. Yep. Sorry, my spelling's off. And then, yeah, and then you can put all. 
Um, we can put all the reds, all the blues. Um, it's not that many. So if we wanted, we could put yellow and green. And then you can run those. And there's those other items in it as well. But yeah, so, you know, I did it. I put it in there for brief. You could put in any, um, you know, and anything that you're looking to update on there. And let's just run this for 30 seconds. Karen, how are your eyes? I don't know if she's still here. So we had a great rectification on that for everybody and we can just go back and look and see how our aura looks for the group. My phone never rings, except when I do Zoom. <laughs> okay, and then you can see this is what it's looking for for the group. You can look at here. We all seem to be needing some grounding. So everybody should be hugging a tree. Maybe let's um, just clear this out. Denise, and, yep. In, in the aura with the bands, is that little dot in the center, is that significant? Because it shows up on my iPhone, but not on my iPhone. You mean in here? No, in the, in the other one. Plus, I yeah this that, yeah. yeah that that's you do want to you do want to expose in the it's a little bit of a formatting thing that they're trying to straighten out this will look a little bit bigger on the iphone so the fact that it's smaller on the ipad and on my macbook air it's um, not showing on my ipad at all that little one but well, it it's it's showing up bigger. It is showing up. It's just bigger. That's what I'm saying. The it, it's it's um yeah. It it oh. should be showing up. Well, I, I didn't see the little one at all on the iPad, but I do see it on the iPhone. So yeah, um, that's just your physical body. Um, it's okay. You're just gonna, you know. The color in here for the group is good. It, you, we would want to see that expanded, though. But um, yeah, it is. It is important to um, reveal. You know, remove the avatar to see it because you are missing pieces of information on that avatar is there. So, um, thank you. You're welcome. Good question. So, anyway. Um, does anybody have any last questions? We're at three o'clock. I hope that was helpful for everybody. I just tried to go through everything. Um, please email me if there is really any other questions that um, about you know working not not um, not like um, bugs or things like that or troubleshooting. But if you have um, you know how to work the the genius or certain things, you know. I'm happy to work with you on that. If you haven't, I'm assuming everybody has, but if you are Apple users, you should have updated to the new 16.6 .6 update. And then you um, should also have the latest Genius update, which is, I believe, 16.99. Uh, so make sure you have all those. If you didn't update to the Apple 16.6 .6 iOS update, you are going to run into problems. So if you do run into a problem and it says you no longer have access to your genius, it's just because you haven't updated it. So don't panic, um, but you will need to, to do all the updates. So um, 
anyway, again, I hope that was helpful. Claire, as always, thank you for helping in the chat answer a lot of those questions for everyone. And it was so great seeing everybody. And I look forward to seeing you next week, next Thursday, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. in the UK. I got it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> have a great day everyone oh and david um well you can um text if you don't figure it out on the android and um you know go to support and uh, we'll try to figure that out for you okay okay thank you you're welcome have a great day everybody bye bye, bye.